Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Everybody's all stretched out. Now they're ready to butt head. The Big Ten about to kick off. That's going to do it for us here on the pregame show. NCAA Football 14 action coming at you right now. Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. Site for our game. And now it's time for the coin toss. And it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. the ball set and he looks ready to kick this one deep to open up the ball game here we go folks he's to the 20 at the 30 they'll bring him down at the 45 final game for these seniors on their home field some will get to the next level and play some more football others they'll be putting the helmet on for the final time so here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today Gains his way to the 36-yard line. The reason why it's so crucial to be able to run effectively like this is it keeps the defense guessing. They have no idea whether you're passing or running, even if you need medium to long-range yards. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 36-yard line. Up the middle for a nice game. Carter gains about five yards on the run. That brings him second and five. Hey, left, hey, left. Four down, four down. 31 to fight. Ready. Left. And he just gets rid of it. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Third and five situation. Ball on the 31. Complete. He's got room. And they push him out at the 19. Man, that was such a good job of reading the coverage and knowing where his receivers were. Any coach in the country would be thrilled to see that kind of composure, especially on third down. Tackle at the 10. That brings in second and one. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Room around the corner. And they make the stop at the eight. Makes it out to about the five-yard line. Thompson gets around three on that option keeper. Well, this corner isn't the biggest guy on the field, but he made a nice tackle there. We've got second and goal. Ball on the five. He gets rid of this one. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. Touchdown, Spartans! And he 
converts the extra point. A nine-play, 56-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Love takes it at the 12, and he's taken down at the 35. The Hoosiers' offense basically predicated on what this kid can do. The thing I love about this guy, Brad, is, is just the intangibles that he brings to the table. We've been seeing this guy make plays over the weeks, but the thing that I've really recognized is his ability to really lead this football team. When things are going well, he's patting everybody on the back. When things are not going well, he's trying to pick them back up and getting them ready to go. So not only does he physically have the tools, but also I really love the way he approaches the game. That's a big game there for the offense, and all that's doing is giving this quarterback more and more confidence. And he shoved out of bounds at about the 43-yard line. but he can't shake the defense. Garcia makes the tackle at the 38-yard line. That makes us early three. Catches it, and he's immediately tackled behind the line. And they back up three yards on that play. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. They look like they've got the block on, and this offensive line's got to give him some time. Touchdown. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Michigan State is up by a touchdown. He's out to the 30. He's tackled at the 32-yard line. Maybe after a nice run like that, you try to go up in the air for the play-action pass. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 32. He's at midfield. He's pushed out of bounds at the 34. So we've got a first down after a great running play. Open man, quick strike, and he can't pull it in. Setting up blockers or running backs. Got it on the screen. He's knocked out of bounds at the 23. If you're the defense coordinator, you got to be frustrated with the way your defense gave up that first down. The defense has got to do a better job of recognizing the screen and then chasing it down from behind, especially the defensive lineman. They've got to see whether it's the quarterback or the offensive lineman to tip the screen and then help the rest of the defense be able to slow that play down and not give up that first down. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. That's, That's a, loss a loss of three, three yards, yards on the play. play. That'll, That'll bring, bring up, up second, second and 12. 12. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on the 26. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Gets it out quickly. And he's tackled around the 13-yard line. Michigan State is up a score. Puts it right in his hands. Touchdown.
these guys need to be aware this aerial attack is capable of making some big plays. They've got to get on their toes. And he hits the PAT. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese. Let's take a look at some scores from around the country. And for Texas Tech, they're looking to win two in a row. Locked up at seven. All right, thanks, Reese. Back to the live action here. Thomas has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. He's out to the 30. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. It's not quite a blowout, but unless they do something here, it might turn into one. Brought down at the 47. That brings up second and one. As we expected coming into this game, this one appears to be under control. Michigan State's lead is two touchdowns. We're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Let's make these babies cry all the way back home. Boy. Let's make these babies cry. Ah! Little pass over the middle to the fullback. They'll bring him down at about the 49. That makes it first and ten. That quickly incomplete. Not enough strength on that pass, and it hits the turf. Oh, boy, he wishes he had that play to do over. Could have been big yardage there. From the 49-yard line, it's second down. They go to the left for a nice game. catch and he's got room here and down he goes around the 20 yard line he stood in there that time against the blitz they were coming after him but he showed the poise and was able to connect for a big game he's scrambling he's taken down right around the 12 yard line that makes it second and two complete over the middle. Tackle made right around the two-yard line. That makes it first and goal. They got him for a loss. You know, as, as a running back, you've got to get upfield north and south. That time, he just seemed to wait and kind of delay his reaction and just got to be able to make a read, get upfield as quickly as possible. In college football, especially up in the NFL, the more you're dancing around waiting for a big play, the more time you're giving an athletic defense a chance to come and make a play in the backfield against you. And that's what happens. The thing about the option is you're going to have some negative play. But if you keep running it, it'll create some big play opportunities. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. With the pass, incomplete. They're going to go for the easy three here. It's up, and the field goal is good. Doty has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. White 
Has it at the five, and he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead, and on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. And he can't get away from the pressure. Calling the loss of eight yards on the play. That'll make it second and long. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Slings it. And he's taken down right around the 26-yard line. Around the 26 yard line. That'll bring up fourth and five. Moore is the punter. He's taken down at the 48 yard line. It was a pretty one sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Down of bounds, right around the 46 yard line. That makes it second and eight. From the 46 yard line, second down. He fights forward to about the 46. catch but he didn't get the first down yeah right now the way this defense is swarming there's just no room for him to get upfield for the first down and they could really put their opponent in bad field position with a good punt here This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. The Spartans looked almost unstoppable in that first quarter, and Herbie, since then, it's not so much that way. Yeah, they've been sluggish here in recent uh, series, but I think it's important. They still have the lead. This is where some leadership needs to assert itself, and somebody needs to make a play to flip that switch to get this offense going again. Fires quickly to the tight end, and he tackles him hard at the 28-yard line. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. the grab and steps out right away. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 38. Let's see if the quarterback heaves it up there and one of his guys can come down with it. He heaves it deep. Incomplete. We've played a half. The Spartans lead. 
everybody. Glad to have you with EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Steve Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Both passing games have struggled in the first half, David, and a lot of times you think of defensive backs being finesse-type athletes. A lot of physicality shown in that first half. No doubt about it. And, and defensive backs, the ones that we like the best, are the ones that can play, can play extremely physical because most offenses are predicated around timing and rhythm, and you see quarterbacks all the time in seven-on-sevens and all summer getting with their wide receivers to try to get that perfect timing. And if you can jam them up at the line of scrimmage, you can mess up that timing. And doing a good job of that, playing close to the line of scrimmage, you know, not letting those receivers get too much wide open spaces and not giving away those easy completions. It's been a clinic so far the first half. Looking forward to seeing this second half. I think there's certainly a want for victory. A want and a need for victory. Some teams need this victory, Reese Davis. Want, need, got to go get it either way. Brandon Kirk are there to deliver. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. Gets to about the 24-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. at the 48. That makes it first and 10. Roger, Roger. Hey, check, check back 11, check back 11. Here we go, here we go. Set, 10, 19. Passes left, gets it out to the halfback. And they make the stop right around the 42-yard line. That'll make it second and four. away here on third down. Gets it quickly to the tight end, but it's dropped. He's going to aim this one to the sideline, try to kick it out of bounds. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Gets out to about the 21. From their own 21-yard line. Second down. Throws complete and he's hit right away. From their own 38 yard line, it's first down. Complete, he's got room, and he's shoved out of bounds at the 47 yard line. to around the 42. From the 42-yard line, 
First down. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. Loss of eight yards on the play. That'll make it second and long. Gains his way to the 36-yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. He gets rid of this one. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. Caught with room to work. And they push him out right around the 14-yard line. This is the 10th play of this drive. Runs it and tackled in the backfield. That is a loss of one yard. That'll bring up second and 11. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on the 15. He's tackled at the 13-yard line. That's a game two on the play. That'll make it 39. This is the 12th play of this drive. It's caught. First down, and he's out of bounds. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. They line up in the jumbo set. Touchdown, Spartans! And he adds the extra point. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. Let's take a look at Lovett. This is a game we've been watching closely all day long. The Jayhawks unleash their aerial assault and score a touchdown. Texas Tech leads it 27-14. That's good stuff, Reese. Thank you. Michigan State is lining up to kick this one off. And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. The Spartans continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. Let's see if this drive has a more rewarding conclusion than their last, which ended with a punt. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. And he's tackled at the 32-yard line. That makes it second and two. Three down, three down. Hey, check, check my check. Hey, Oklahoma! Slam, slam, slam. He has some room. Brought down at about the 41. Call the game at nine yards. First down. Three down, three down. Hey, check, check back 11, check back 11. Hey, check, check, check. 14. Nearly picked off, but he couldn't hold it. That could have been a huge shift in momentum if they were able to hold on to that one. Wow, that was close. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 41. Steps 
It's out of bounds around the 42-yard line. Slings it quickly to his halfback again. They'll bring him down at the 46. Nice gain, but not enough for the first down. Yeah, that's a nice play there. They did everything right except get enough yards for the first down. One more quarter to play, and this one appears to be well under control. Michigan State's up by 18. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Quick pass, and down he goes. That's the 42. Williams missed a tackle at the 42 yard line. First down. And a quick throw. He's down right around the 32 yard line. That'll make it second and inches. Open. He's knocked out of bounds at the 18-yard line. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. He might have a chance. He's pushed out of bounds at the 13. That brings him. There's a fumble. It's picked up. Tackle made at the 11-yard line. They're going to review this fumble, and I've got to tell you, I think he was down before the ball popped loose. I don't know about this one, Brad. They called it a fumble on the field, and they need indisputable video evidence to overturn this call. To review, review the play, play the ruling, ruling on the on field, the field is, reversed. is reversed. So after some discussion, the call on the field is reversed. From the 14-yard line, third down. Dumps it complete, the tight end over the middle. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. That's a deed of 12 on the play. That makes it first and goal. Two down, two down. Mike 55, Mike 55. Easy, easy. Over the heart, over the heart. Slam, slam, slam. Hey. Now he tries to buy some time. Keeps it, and he's got a touchdown. Well, this quarterback has great instincts, but he showed his smarts here as well, seeing that there was room to run for the touchdown instead of trying to force the pass. We well, they're going to two-point conversion. Set. Ten. Ten. They get the two. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? Let's have a look at some scores from around the country. Several surprises today. This one's been entertaining us all day long. The Red Raiders are out front, 30 to 21. All right, thanks, Reese. There's a flag on the field. Free kick, Free kick out, out of bounds. bounds. Kicking team. team. It takes so much precision and luck to execute a successful onside kick. One wrong bounce, and you send it out of the field of play. When you're a quarterback and you start this close to the end zone, your eyes just light up when you take the field. Conversely, the defense is thinking, uh-oh, we can't let him get another one so quickly. Nice run there. Carter picks up five with the carry. That brings him second. 
Second down and five. Ball on the 22 yard line. Defense was just all over that play. It didn't fool anybody. Third down now. They need to get it to the 17. Just under three to go in regulation. Steps up. Ball is loose. Fumble. He picks it up. I'd be happy after recovering that fumble. Yeah, because a play like that gets the defense right back into the game. You'll probably see him get real conservative now. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. Throws a bullet. And he's taken down around the three-yard line. And that's the way you're supposed to play pitch and kick. Absolutely. You know, this wide receiver is a difference maker. He's one of those players that has a chance to go the distance every time you get him the ball. Watch out for a pass play when you're in a goal line D. Tailback brought down for a loss. If you're the running back here, you've got to get up, dust yourself off, and get set for the next play. That brings up a second and goal. Ball on the seven-yard line. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Quick throw, caught, touchdown. A touchdown, and that should do it, Kirk. And he tacks on the extra point. Let's get the latest now from Reese. In the Big 12, they spread you out and pitch that magic beam everywhere. And for Kansas, today's loss is a tough one, eliminating them from bowl eligibility. Texas Tech gets the victory 30-28. Meanwhile, the Hurricanes finally get the Gators right where they want them. On the field, battling for the Seminole War Canoe. And for Miami, they've now won three in a row. And for Allen, he finished with one trip. Zone. Miami grabs the win by two. All right, Reese, back to our game. They line up to kick this one away. He just drills this one. He's to the 20, and he's tackled at the 25-yard line. Indiana's been doing special things on offense all season long, and not today. That's not what we've been it's been a shocker. These guys have had their way with almost every defense all year long. You come in expecting the same thing, and they lay an egg. Well, I didn't expect to see this at all. The offense will be hoping they can move the ball as well as they did on their last drive. Got time, and now he might want to off. Tackle around the 26-yard line. Just under two to go in the game. The spike will stop the clock. From their own 26-yard line. Third down. Takes it and he's tackled short.
White back deep to return. Brought down at the 48. The offense now will take the field, and they hope to have the same success they had on their last drive. Why they has got to do something because right now the quarterback is in such a good rhythm that you've got to do something to try to get him out of it. I would suggest trying to bring more pressure. Try to come up with an exotic blitz look to try to get him on his heels as opposed to being the aggressor and attacking the defense. From their own 46-yard line. Second down. Nice run and he's brought down. And so that's going to do it. Our final score in this one, Michigan State 28, Indiana 11. As we finish up the broadcast, what do you have to say about how this game turned out, Kurt? Well, they fought this one hard and played with some grit. And while they might not have come away with a W, they've got no reason to hang their Michigan State didn't necessarily play their best game today. They let them hang around for a little bit more than they would have liked, but it's still a nice win.